Alrighty, we are back to talk about some more irregular preterite or past tense verbs. Uh, yesterday, we looked at some verbs that ended in car, such as tokar, sakar, and buscar. We said they had a change in the stem in the yo form so that they sounded the same. So we replaced the C with a Q-U and we got toque, sake, and busque. Now we're going to go back up to these notes where it says this is going to happen in the yo form only. And today we're going to look at three verbs that end in gar, G-A-R. They're going to have a change in that you're going to have to add in this letter U before you add your ending, your A ending in the yo form so that they will sound the same. So let's go down here and look at this really quick. So we know that jugar means to play, whoops, a sport or a game. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do with jugar is I'm going to drop that AR, and I'm going to start going all the way down, whoops, with my stem, which is hug, J-U-J, so hug, 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 and hug. Then normally I would add my ending, which would be an A. This right here is aste. Usted, Eli, ella is O, and don't forget it's got that acento again. Nosotros is amos, and then we have aron. So when you hear these pronounced, <clears throat> this is how they would be. The yo form would be who hey, as it's written. Who gaste, who go, who gamos, and who garon. These have the hard G, the gaste, go, gamos, garon. But who hey has the soft G sound when it comes before an E. So to make it sound like the others, what happens in Spanish is we are going to add in the letter. Why did that not add in? I don't know. We're going to add in the letter U and we're going to get who gay. Now it sounds like the others and who gay actually means I played. So if we want to go down here and we want to complete this first example, I played soccer, that would be who gay. I added in that U and then we get I'll football with an accent because remember football is soccer and football americano is actually american football right here where it says uh the team played let me get off of this so the team would be el equipo and since there's one team and it's singular that would be who go and it doesn't say what sport so just el equipo who go all right, next verb that ends in gar is a verb that we've talked about a little bit. Yegar right here is to arrive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow step one as always. I'm going to drop the AR. I'm going to go straight down with yeg. And please notice that is indeed two L's together. That happens a lot in Spanish. And when you have those two L's together, they're pronounced like a Y. So this is yegar, the verb. I will add in my E. And then I get aste, usted, eli, ella would be o. This is amos, and right here is aron. Yet again, when I pronounce these from the bottom to the top, I get yegaron, yegamos, yego, yegaste, and yehe. Because yehe is that soft G sound, I want it to be the hard G. So I'm going to add in that U, and I'm going to get yege. That's all one word, by the way, and that actually means I arrived. Let's see if I can make that one word. Yes, llegué, like llegué tarde, yo llegué a tiempo. Um, right here, I arrived late. So L-L-E-G, I have to add in that U, and then the E with the accent, and that would be llegué tarde. If they arrived on time, that's going to be ellos llegaron, with that A-R-O-N ending, and then a uh, tiempo is on time. Last gar verb we're going to look at is pagar. We know that means to pay. I'm going to start with step one. As always, I'm going to drop that AR. I'm going pag, 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 and pag. I'm going to add my E. Come right here and add an aste. This we know is an O. Right here is an amos. And right here I have an aron. And yet again, we're going to listen to the hard G versus the soft G. So pagaron, pagamos, pago, pagaste, paje. That soft G sound we've got to get rid of. We do that by adding in a G and we get pagé. And pagé right here would be I paid in the past. So if I paid for the food, 
in the yo form, P-A-G-I, I add in that U, and then my E with an accent, page. And then for the food is por la comida. If you paid, what does it want me to do here? Uh, la comida, pague por la, that's fine. We're going to leave it like this. If you paid for the drink, that would be pagaste and then por la bebida. So today we looked at three verbs that all end in gar, G-U-E, jugar, to play a sport or a game, llegar, to arrive, and pagar, to pay. Just remember that only in the yo form, you have to add in that extra U to change that hey sound to gay.